Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube and today we're going to talk all about linen and how to stitch with linen on um, when you're cross stitching. So we talked about Ada and all the little behind the scenes things about Ada on Tuesday, January 10th. If you want to know more about even weave, we talked about that on Tuesday, February 7th. So we're going to jump right in and talk about linen. I'm going to talk, it's basically, I'm going to talk all about the facts of linen and then I'm going to not answer questions until the very end. So put your questions in and I'll be answering those at the end. That way this can be a tutorial that people refer to for um, a lot of information. So if you've tried stitching on Ada and then stitched on even weave, linen would be the next step. It is commonly considered to be more difficult to stitch on than an Ada or a Lugana or an even weave. I personally don't stitch on linen. So we're bringing all the knowledge from Cheryl. She works at Back Quarter Shop and she has lots of information on linen. I wanted to show you, I did start Nutcracker Village and Glitter Village maybe a year or two ago and I kind of gave up. So this is linen, and it's just very frustrating for me to stitch on. So I have stitched on linen, I just personally don't love it. Um, linen was the most commonly used fabric for needlework in the 1800s. Most antique samplers you see are stitched on linen. We're gonna cover the definition of linen, different linen counts, different brands, and different colors. So what is linen? Linen is a natural fiber that has slubs, which are natural irregularities in the fabric. Each thread may be different thickness, resulting in uneven stitches. So here's an up close photo of linen and you can see the threads, you know, they're not even and you might see some slubs, that's the natural fiber of it. But when you stitch on linen, you'll get a more vintage look. It is much harder for me to stitch on. Some of the threads, like you saw in the photo, are wider than others, and that is common with samplers. It's unique because when you stitch your piece, it will look a little vintage, and it won't look exactly like someone else's, like an Ada piece would. Linen also comes available in much higher counts than other fabrics, like 36 and 40. Many people like linen because when you stitch on linen, the holes or the squares are not as obvious. You really see the thread. So if you looked at this next to a piece of Ada, you will see the holes in Ada where you don't see the holes in linen. Linen is typically stitched over two threads, which is called stitching over two. You're gonna skip every other hole. The count of fabric that you have will determine how many strands you use and what needle size you use. We have a cross stitch calculator and you can always go to that at fatquartershop.com. And for example, if you're working on 28 count linen, you would click that box and it will give you a recommendation on what size to cut your fabric, what needle size we recommend, and the number of strands. So we're gonna start with the common linen counts. So 28 count, 32 count, 36 count, and 40 count. So that means there's 28 threads per inch horizontally and vertically and so on and so forth. Now, 28 count, your stitches will be bigger. 40 count, your stitches will be much smaller. But these are the most common counts that people stitch linen on. So now that we've talked about sizes, we're gonna move on to different brands of linen and we'll talk about pricing, thickness, and um, colors and things like that. So we'll start with corporate brands, which are like bigger companies. So DMC Charles Craft is widely available at local craft stores. It comes in tubes 
and inside you get a 15 inch by 18 inch piece DMC Charles Craft only comes in 28 counts and it's um, very limited colors. So for example, we have white, snow, I don't know where the colors are, natural, light blue, white. So just very basic colors. Now, the drape and the softness matters to some people and that will matter if you're stitching in hand or if you're stitching in a hoop very stiff fabric can sometimes cause floss to snag or shred because your thread kind of um, hits against the the fabric but it really is a matter of personal preference whether you want your fabric to be really stiff or soft we would rate dmc charles craft as Stiff. And we will compare at the end the different stiffness levels with different ones, but this one I would say is stiff. But it is your least expensive brand. Now Zweigart makes lots of cloth and they are the most well known in the industry. It's probably the most widely used. It's available in most needlework shops and online. And this one is available either in pre-cut sizes or by the yard. Swigard is available in 28, 32, 36, and 40. So this is probably something that um, is pretty interesting to you that I didn't know. So 28 counts Weigart, they refer to as cashel linen. So if you ever see cashel linen, you know 28 counts Weigart. The 32 count Weigart is called Belfast. So if you're looking at 32 count linen, that Weigart is called Belfast. 36 count they call Edinburgh, and so that um, 36 count Edinburgh is always going to be Zweigart. If you see the word Newcastle linen, that always means 40 count. You can always distinguish Zweigart by the orange thread in the salvage. It's the only brand that has that. Let me see if I can show you. So that's how you would see it. I'm sure you've seen that before. There are a lot of colors available. They do have, um, so they have lots of colors and they have a couple of specialty prints like this white petty point. And Zweigard is not as stiff as DMC Charles Craft. This would be um, a very affordable way to stitch and um, it has a really nice feel and Cheryl loves stitching with it. So if you have had problems stitching with linen, I would try one of the Zweigarts because it's not as stiff, it has a very good price, and uh, it's, you know, good to stitch on. And a lot of designers use Zweigart. So we've gone over DMC and Zweigart. Now we're going to talk about Witchell. So Witchell is available at most needlework shops, and it's also available at Fat Quarter Shop online. Their fabric comes pre-cut in 18 by 27 inch pieces. And the sizes of linen that Witchell provides is 20, 28, 30, 32, 35, and 40. So it's very interesting to see that different brands have different colors and different sizes. Now, Witchell would be much stiffer than Zweigart, and at the end, I'll kind of put them all next to each other to see. But you can see it is very stiff. Some people love stiffness, and like I said at the very beginning, it's really going to depend on what you like and whether you stitch in hand or in um, a hoop. And Witchell is very affordable. 
So that's Witchell. So now that we've done kind of our bigger companies, we're gonna to move to smaller company brands. These next brands are all small businesses that add hand dyed or screen printing to a base fabric made by a larger company. And these will be um, very original fabrics and um, just beautiful offerings. And these are usually more expensive. So Fabric Flare has a ton of interesting and unique prints. It's available at Fat Quarter Shop and, on, and online and at some needlework shops. We carry it in most, most of the sizes we carry are 18 by 27. Every now and then we'll have some bigger pieces for special projects. And we love working with Fabric Flare because we will do some custom colors with them. Now, we carry size 28 and size 32 of their linen. Fabric Flare looks like it's hand dyed or, or, you know, printed, but it's printed. So on one side it's printed and one side it's white. So you always know what size to stitch on. And this is a very affordable option if you're looking for something where you know you want to stitch on something that's not too expensive um, and I would say the price is reasonable and the stiffness I would say is in the middle now on this one I don't know what base fabric they print on um, they don't give that information so now that we've talked about fabric flare we're gonna move on to hand dyed fabrics So many years ago, when you stitched, think about 30 years ago, when you stitched, you had the option to stitch in white, off-white, maybe a tan. Within the last 15 to 20 years, hand-dyed cross-stitch fabric has become very prevalent. Two major hand-dyed brands that we carry and that are the most well-known are Picture This Plus and fiber on a whim and i'm showing you right now fiber on a whim now both both are dyed on a zweigart base and you know that because they have this orange thread right here dyeing processes can differ between companies or do differ between companies so some fabrics that you get that are hand dyed may be very different than others. So basically when you buy a fiber on a whim versus picture this plus, they're gonna use different dyeing methods. Some people dye with uh, liquid dyes, some people dye with powder dyes. Some people dry the fabric by hand and some dyers use a commercial drying machine to dry their fabric. So it's gonna be totally different from manufacturer to manufacturer. And if you buy, for example, a hand dyed linen today and a hand dyed linen in the future, they will not match. And just to show you, even between the counts, so this is 32, and this is 28 you can see the difference in how the dye takes to the color and you can see it says cashel so that means Zweigart Belfast that means Zweigart that's also another um, now this is going to be found needle workshop should have tons of this and the two brands we carry the most are fiber on a whim and picture this plus they come available in 28 32, 36, and 40. There are some higher counts also, we just don't carry those at Fat Quarter Shop. These are all custom hand dyed fabric, so it'll be dyed on the front and the back. It's not screen printed. Um, the edges on most brands, when you buy hand dyed, will come surged on the edge so it won't fray. And the fabric that you get if you buy hand dyed will always be a softer drape because it's hand dyed and washed and the sizing has been removed from the fabric so 
from the very beginning brands I showed you, those will always be stiffer than hand dyed. There is a longer delivery date for hand dyed. So fiber on a whim takes Fat Quarter Shop about three to four months to get inventory. Picture this plus, it takes slightly over one year. Hand dyed fabrics are a higher price point and the reason they are expen more expensive is they buy, for example, the Zweigart. They have to dye it, so they have to buy the dyes. They have to pay for the labor to dye it. They have to pay for the drying process. They have to pay for the surging of it, packaging. So hand dyed is more expensive and it is much more expensive due to labor and materials. There are many hand dyed companies available and if you go in a brick and mortar store, you're gonna see more brands. These are just two that we wanted to focus on, but there's probably 20 brands out there and they're all um, uniquely beautiful in their own way. So now that we've talked about different brands and the sizes and colors and pricing they offer, we're gonna show you some neutrals that we find are the top neutrals that are commonly used. And so if you're wanting to try, these are kind of tried and true colors that um, designers like. So this is Milk and Honey by Fiber on a Whim, and we're showing you 36 count. Cappuccino is also by Fiber on a Whim, and it's, so I would say this is a very light tan. This is more of a medium brown with accents of a tiny bit of gray in there. Affogato by Fiber on a Whim, very popular. This would be more similar to Vintage Country Mocha. Cream and Sugar by Fiber on a Whim, that's probably our best selling and we, we I'm ordering that uh, all the time. So this one is harder to keep in stock and just so you know, when we order from hand dyed companies, there's a limit on what we can order. So sometimes we're sold out just because I can't keep up with the demand of ordering it based on our limits. And then this is Weigart Vintage Country Mocha that I just mentioned. Now, I will tell you that I love Vintage Country Mocha. There we go. Sometimes we have to turn the fabric so it doesn't um, freak out on the screen. But Vintage Country Mocha is on one side, it's modeled and one side it's plain. So out of all the um, hand dyed, these are our most common. And out of non hand dyed, Vintage Country Mocha. And you will see that over and over on different pattern designers. Um, you'll see I would say Vintage Country Mocha the most, Cream and Sugar, Affogato the second, and Milk and Honey Cappuccino next. So while I have, I am gonna show a comparison of stiffnesses real quick. Can I have the um, fabric flare, please? Okay, so I would say your stiffest is gonna be Witchell. It's um, really, it's very, very stiff. So that's how stiff it is. Your second stiffest would be DMC Charles Craft. The difference between these two is there's a lot more space and the holes are bigger in the Charles Craft. So if you like stiff, do you wanna see the holes or do you not wanna see the holes? Your Zweigart is going to be the like medium softness. Now your hand dyed is gonna be the softest. And I would say that fabric flares kind of in between these two. So I would say which one is your stiffest? Charles Craft is the next. These are about equal. Zweigart is the, I would say like, 
the middle ground. Fabric flares a little softer and your softest is always gonna be a hand dyed. So that should help you in determining, you know, kind of what you like. Now I wanted to show you some top colors that aren't neutral, just so you can see the beauty of hand dyed fabrics and um, what kind of effect you can get. So this first one is Plum by Fiber on a Whim. Amber, Fiber on a Whim. Ivy, Fiber on a Whim. Tuscan, Fiber on a Whim. And Muted Sedona, Fiber on a Whim. And I'm gonna sh open these and just show you the beauty so that you can see hand dyed fabrics. And again, these are all linen, they're different sizes. And one side will look different than the other side. And remember, put your questions in because I am going to answer them at the end. So those are some beautiful colors you can get with linen. Now I'm gonna show you our top selling linen at Fat Quarter Shop. And that might also help you if you're looking to try out a linen. Oyster Witchell is a really nice cream uh, fabric. And what I love about it is it's not brown, it's not gray, it's kind of just there. <laughs> Um, and, and because of the color, it can really, that color can really work with a lot of threads. Cypress 36 Count Linen by Fiber on a Whim is our second bestseller. Antique White 28 Count Linen. Touch of Blue by Witchell and Witchell 28 Count Ivory. So you'll see that four of our top sellers are Witchell, and that's probably because they are neutral, they are in a good price point. Um, and I think it's crazy that Cypress is in here because it's so green. So it might just be a very popular color, or it might be um, that a certain designer is using that. That will affect sales. Okay, so since Cheryl is such a, she does a lot of our model stitching, um, she stitches, she has stitched on all different sizes of linen, 28, 32, 36, and she's even stitched on 40 count. 36 count is her favorite. Her second favorite is 32 count. So these are her favorite fabrics with the fabric size. So she's got uh, 36 count affogato, 36 count cream and sugar, 28 count cashel, 36 count milk and honey, and 28 count vintage country mocha. And so, like I said, 32 count is Cheryl's favorite. So now what I'm going to do is we had some questions that came in before and we're going to answer all of those and then I'm going to answer any questions you have. So put any question in you have. Our first question says, can I buy linen mint for quilting and stitch on it or is the count much higher or too small? Okay, so this right here is a quilting linen. It is not meant to stitch on. It is, uh, it's just a linen fabric. There are not holes to stitch on. It's too tightly woven. So quilting fabric linen, this is a Robert Kaufman Essex. This is a cappuccino cross stitch. So you can see the difference. So quilting, quilting linen is just meant to sew with, has nothing to do with stitching. And then this is to stitch on. with what substance linen is dyed. So different dyers use different liquids. Some use liquid, 
some used powder. We are gonna do an interview with Fiber on a Whim um, with Kristen and Janelle in late May. But I will tell you, they're probably not gonna tell you their dyeing process because that is kind of a trade secret because everyone does it differently and I'm sure they don't wanna give away what they do. Just recently, I stitched my first piece on linen. It was Weeks Dye Works. I, find, I found it too loosely woven to the point I didn't enjoy stitching on it. Is all linen the same? So all linen is not the same. So hopefully the explanation I gave at the beginning will help you with um, seeing the difference. Is there any linen that feels like Lugana? I'm very comfortable stitching on Lugana. So not all linen is the same. Weeks Dye Works, we actually don't sell their linen, but it seems to be like the thinnest or the, you know, it's very, very soft. If you want to try a different brand, I would suggest Weigart to start. Um, what is the best way to get stubborn creases out of linen and Ada cloth when damp ironing on a tea towel doesn't take it all out? Okay, so can I see a piece of linen that has a big crease? So I'm gonna give you two different answers. I'm gonna give you my answer, and then I'm gonna give you Cheryl's answer. So when you get your fabric, there are creases, but in hand dye, you get a lot more creases. Or, okay, so this is a Witchell. It's not gonna have as many creases. Now look at the difference in hand dyed. Hand dyed has a lot of, you know, a lot of, because it's been washed and dried, it's not gonna be flat and perfect like this. So I will tell you that when I work, with Ada, I never iron, but we're talking about linen. And I don't stitch on linen, so I can't really give you the answer. What Cheryl says is she presses her linen using high heat and steam, and she presses it as well as she can before she ever starts stitching. She will press her piece using a pressing mat, like the Ultimate Pressing Cloth by Yarn Tree, using heat and steam after she stitches, so she, she presses before and after, and just know that when you're working with this linen, some of these creases won't come out. It's kind of the, kind of part of the product. Okay, how do you know where to start with linen so you get the best stitches? Is there a certain way, either north, south, east, or west, that you start out? So I think we have a pop-up. Stitched Modern Online has a diagram and a full blog that illustrates where to start. And Cheryl does not follow this at all. She doesn't pay attention to this at all. But if you're wanting to follow it, I would refer you to Stitch Modern and read her blog post. Um, we don't have much to add just because Cheryl doesn't do it. Why are there more colors to choose from for linen? So I feel like there's the same amount of colors in Ada as there are in linen, but not all shops will carry the hand dyed in linen. And um, brick and mortar stores are more likely to carry the linen because their end user is more likely to use it. So I feel like it's equal. I just feel like the linen hand dyed is gonna be much more popular and people are gonna be more likely to buy it because I would say they're more advanced stitchers. Okay, so now I'm gonna to move to questions that you guys have sent in. And remember, if you wanna learn about Ada, we talked about that in January, 2023. If you wanna learn about Evenweave, February, 2023. Okay, Delinda is new to cross stitch. What is the best linen and count to start on? Um, I purchased Witchell when it was on sale, but I didn't like the feel, but the holes were great to see were great. I would say for anybody asking in the chat, I'm going to answer because this is just the simplest, best answer that Cheryl and I came up with. 
We really think Zweigart 28 count is a great one to start with because it's kind of the middle of the road. It's not too, it's not too stiff, it's not too soft, and um, it's a great price point. So that's what we're gonna recommend for beginners. What linen clubs do we have? We have a Witchell Linen Club where you get 28 count each month. On the hand dyed, you can stitch on either side. Correct, that's correct. So that was the question. Yes, you can. Hand dyed, you stitch on any side you want. Is there a fiber on a whim, 36 count, you would recommend as a substitute for Liz Matthews Autumn Cloth chart? I don't know how to say that. I would say affogato fiber on a whim. On the 20 count linen, would you stitch over two? Yes. You could also stitch over one if you want it to be more like a 40 count, which would be really tiny. When stitching on linen using one thread, what is the best way to start since you can't use the loop method? I would just leave a tail about half an inch to an inch and catch it with the first couple of stitches by just looking on the front and the back. Nana's Legacy says fiber on a whim is her go-to, but she's noticing that the more stitches she puts in, it seems like the fabric thread distorts, making the holes hard to find. Would the stiffer fabric present, prevent this? Um, It might, I would maybe, um, maybe because it's hand dyed, maybe that's distorting the holes a little bit. Does the color country vintage have a green cast to it? No. Is there no quilting and crime podcast today? Was that an April Fool's joke? Yeah, it was an April Fool's joke. <laughs> I mean, I could do something, but I just, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think anybody would watch. I'm interested in doing every opening flower. Do you know when you will have the floss in stock? Um, we order floss daily, so as soon as whichever manufacturer gets it here, we will have it. What Ada would I recommend? Cheryl recommends cappuccino fiber on a whim. So thank you guys for learning all about linen today. Make sure you join me in May when I talk about floss. And um, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like videos like this. And if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer them and I'll see you tomorrow.